Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing the Soulmate Twin Flame Oracle reading for this week. Um, now, as I said before, this is a reading that is based upon um, everyone. So it's general love reading that it will resonate with you in some type of way, but understand this is geared upon soulmates that are together or that are apart or even if you're just looking for that one specific person and also if you've landed on this video and it doesn't correspond with the dates that are below in the description area this is a, a, a very special message for you so I highly recommend that you stay tuned and watch it and any video that you land on is usually a, a message for you so let's begin I shuffle the cards and ask the angels if they can give us a message, something that we need to know in order to get through a difficult time or what we need to know to get through a situation in our lives. I've used the Healing Angels, Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, if you could see it. Very beautiful spiritual deck. And the first card, Release and Surrender, okay. Now, this card comes up pretty often, and it's a message. It's definitely a message telling you, as this angel is releasing to a higher power, to God, and allowing herself to flow through whatever doesn't seem right, she's holding a broken vase, that's actually releasing. And the water is just coming through to the point where she's allowing something to take over. She is not resisting. She knows that that vase is pouring water all over the place and she is not allowing the storm to get to her. She is not allowing anything that is troubling her bring her down. She is allowing the love to come through inside of her by what God is giving her by the universe. And that's the way you have to look at this. You have to look at everything that's going on in your life. Maybe it's not what you truly want and you're not you're not content, you're not happy, you're not finding the joy, the peace, the love that you want in your life. And we all want that. That's the ultimate goal in our lives, to find that. But if there's a part of you that just is holding on to it and you're tensing up, you're tightening it up and you're not, you're not releasing it, you're not saying, you know what, God, I release this to you. Universe, please give me all that I can be. Give me the strength to what I need to do in my life. You have to pray. You have to meditate. Give it to God. Give it up. Let it go. And you'll see how things will start changing in your life. Because when you're sending off negative vibes to somebody around you, they're going to pick this up. They're going to pick it up automatically. It's like the people around you see, oh, there's something going on with her. There is something negative happening. And that's where you have to stop, look, and listen at what is in front of you at the moment and release and surrender. So this is a good card to take with you all the time. It's a, it's a very important message. And I mean, we all can benefit in some way because we all carry on things in our life. We overanalyze, we take on too much in our lives, and we don't we don't rest, we don't rejuvenate ourselves, we don't do enough for ourselves sometimes. And this is a good card to take with you because if you're not doing these things for yourself, how are you going to empower yourself to be with your divine partner, divine soulmate, your twin flame? You can't. It seems like things will just be blocked all the time because you're holding on to so much. Healing, okay? And as you can see, she's releasing. The angel is giving her a sense of positive energy and she is healing on her own. Nobody can actually heal you. Nobody can actually do this for you. You have to do the healing work yourself. Healing work takes time. It's not something that you can um, say, I'm going to go to somebody and I want them to heal me. Even a doctor, a doctor, um, a physician, a professional is not going to be able to heal you. Your own body heals. Your own body takes over, okay? And that's, everybody is different and it's a fact. Um, the same goes with your spirit. Nothing can actually take away something that is hurting you negative, um, disturbing, um, something that's bothering you, any type of anxiety, stress, even medicine will not take it away because it comes right back. Some people indulge in, you know, substance abuse and do things to their bodies that they don't realize that they're overusing. And it's all comes to one thing. They're not healing the root of it. The root of it may not be like someone 
near you or somebody that you've known, but the root of it may be just working on yourself for that healing. You need to heal, first of all, what's deep inside you, you. I mean, you may have some things that have been going on with yourself for so long and you never realized you had excess baggage. You've looked at everybody else and said, they have excess baggage, or I think that person has something going on. But have you really analyzed yourself and said, I need to work on myself. I need to find a place to heal myself and, and let go of all of it because releasing it, surrendering, letting go is part of the healing process. So this is definitely two cards that is telling you, stop looking at what should be happening in your life and why things are the way they are. Anything stressful, anything with a lot of drama, you need to just release it and say, you know what, I'm going to let myself be me and I'm going to heal. I'm going to, I'm going to let what is meant to happen in my life because that's the first step with coming together with your twin flame. When you are healed, when you've come to a place where you've actually accomplished something as far as your spiritual growth, as far as awakening, as far as being aware of what is in front of you. Not so much closed-minded, but allowing the energy of love to flow through you so that you can heal directly what is troubling you. Nobody wants to be around someone that has excess baggage or I, I won't say excess baggage. I will say nobody wants to be with someone when they're in a negative zone all the time because when they're in a negative zone, you know, it's like you absorb it and you don't mean to give it to that person. Your soulmate may not say, I don't want to be near this person because they're negative, but it's, it's a vibration. You know, it's, it's something that just happens. It's something like the way we see things. We can see when there's something wrong around their energy fields, when there is something near them that they are not realizing. We can't exactly tell them what is troubling them. We have to work on that in a, in a sense. So this is something that's vice versa. This is something that goes both ways. So when you're healing from something, they're healing. The both of you are healing together and coming together as one. Release, surrender and release, allowing the divine healing to take place to bring you into a complete union with your divine soulmate. Okay, the next card, support. Okay, very beautiful card. As you can see, there is a group of angels and they're supporting the world. Supporting the world to the point where they're giving their love. They have their hands up, as you can see, giving, giving the abundance of love throughout the whole world. And a lot of people do this. I do this. I try to send as much healing light to the world in, in times of trouble and times of need. Not that everybody should be doing this, but just if we pray and meditate and, and send peace and love to everybody around us and, and, and into the world. That's, it's a good idea to do this, but also remember that you are receiving the love, the divine love from, from above. And if you're not releasing and surrendering by healing what is troubling you inside of you, inside of your heart, you'll never find that support. You'll never get that support because you're not allowing it to come through. The best way I can put it is when you're healing, you, you need the support. You need to find it in your heart to embrace it. So when you start feeling that love and that support coming from, from above, blessings of abundance of love and light will start pouring through your life. I see it all the time. But a miracle isn't going to happen if you are negative, if you are troubled. How do you see the glass half full if it's always half empty? I mean, there is so much that you have to break away from in order to allow the beautiful divine love to manifest between you and your divine soulmate. Your soulmate needs to be close to you, regardless if you, you two are in a relationship and having troubled times or that person is far away from you, distance um, is keeping you two apart for whatever reason, everybody's situation is different. You need to understand that that love, that support needs to bring you together 
when that timing is divine. Or if you haven't even met that person just yet, you will meet that person. Everybody has one. Everybody has a divine soulmate that they will meet if it's not sooner or later, I promise you. This is something that is a fact, but there is something in your life, if you are not with anyone right now and still looking, you will find this person as soon as you start releasing and surrendering your whole heart to divine and allowing the healing process to take place, allowing the healing to take charge of what you truly feel in your heart, what you truly want, your goals, because you will get the support. The support is there and the support is always there. The angels are always giving you their love. And if we all just embrace together, we can all feel it. So that's why I say, you need to just allow what the universe is sending you and the blessings will come to you in abundance. Of course, you have to, you have to believe, you have to understand and have faith that everything comes when the timing is divine. It's not going to happen when you're waiting for it, but the sooner that you start working on yourself, the sooner you will start feel that healing process take over and you will get signs and you know I can go on and on and on and how beautiful it can be for you but you have to just take it one step at a time it doesn't happen overnight but maybe it can I mean you're everybody's different you're different so let's go to the last card new beginnings love this card beautiful card perfect as you can see the angel is embracing in a new beginning she has this hope, this newfound love coming into her life, and this is the outcome of this reading. Basically, in order for all of these things that are building up to take place, they are all, they are all focused on a brand new beginning coming into your life. New beginnings happen all the time. Now, maybe the new beginning can be something with finding that new joy, that new love with your soulmate. Maybe you finally can come to resolving your differences and finally find happiness with each other. That's, that's newfound love. That's new beginnings. Or it could be that you've actually found a new peace inside of you. That, that's the new beginning. You can also get back together with your divine soulmate, your twin flame, or you could actually find that true soul connection with someone that you actually feel love. You can actually feel that love that I talk about all the time it's because you are loved. You have the support. You are healing. You have to just release it and surrender it. It all comes together. You are beautiful inside. You are amazing. You are a wonderful human being. You need to say this every single day. I love myself. I am beautiful. I am amazing. When you say these things, you've already started the healing process because automatically you're going to think to yourself, you know what? That is, those things are true. I am all those things. And when you start feeling that, you start feeling loved, you start embracing it, and you start loving everybody. And you know what? Deep inside your heart chakra, deep inside your chest, you start to get a feeling of a glowing ball of light just embracing you and making you feel good about yourself for a change. Instead of listening to all that harsh negativity that's around you. Surround yourself in love and light, and I guarantee you, you will find that new beginning. You will find the support and the healing by releasing and surrendering. Things don't happen overnight. Always remember that. It's on, it's on God's timing. It's all when the time is right, but you have to remember also that you are human, so you can't do everything overnight as well. So take it one step at a time. Now, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just um, put them in the comments area, and I will answer you back as soon as I can. If you like this video, I hope you can give me that little thumbs up. And if you'd like to find out more about Soulmates and Twin Flames, you can watch my other videos. I also have several blogs out with many, many articles that you're more than welcome to check out. The links will all be on the bottom. Um, so. I hope this reading resonated with you because in many areas it resonated with me as well. Um, these readings are not based upon one particular person. Always remember that. There is a whole world out there. So this video is going like public and it's it landed with you because it was meant for you to get this message. So take it with you and until next time, God bless. Namaste.